My name is Elda Jarrett. I have one older sister and then I got four brothers and then I was born and then I got four more brothers. I asked my mother how come she chose Elda for my name and she said because it was my very best friend. No, and I didn't ever like my name because everybody else had uh, someone else the same name and I was always afraid that I'd never hear Elda again. I was born in Nephi and uh, I uh, had a doctor all read and he was going to deliver me on my mother was ha having me and so um, the doctor didn't get there and uh, until after I was born and they had me laying on mama's tummy and I, she said I opened my eyes and she said I don't care if it takes me all the rest of my life I will not give up my baby girl so when the doctor came that's what she told him and he told me or he told my grandmother that I would be paid for and my older brother that was two years old also would be uh, paid for if they would let them adopt me and and my mother said no I'm going to keep my little girl well my father was a farmer he had horses he had all kinds of animals and what we did together was had to work on the farm take care of all the animals and um, that was what we had to do together and then we all got went to Sunday school on Sunday well I had lots of friends um, her father was a the banker in Nephi Sherry Booth and uh, uh, Marge Noreen was from Mona and she and Eleanor Young were my best friends and we were friends until they passed away just a few months weeks ago and and they were my very best friends because Marge helped me because I was always bashful and she would help me so that I excelled in some things. Nephi Juab School. Well, uh, my favorite subject was um, uh, r r r r um. writing. Did you like to write? Write and uh, um, Reading? Did you like to read? Is it math? Arithmetic? arithmetic? Math? Yeah. You like math? Math. Good. That's what I like too. Well, that was a fun time. I was up to my sister. She was married and in Santa Quinn. And she had her babies. 
they didn't have doctors, they would have a, a lady come in and, and uh, help raise the, I mean, uh, give birth to the baby. And I would go up and tend the other children while my sister was uh, having her baby. And I fell up the canyon road. I met him, uh, Vern Gowdy, and he uh, met me and came over to Melva's house. And then um, one day in Nephi, when we went down, and it was the Ute Stampede, he brought, he, they would uh, hitchhike down because they weren't old enough to drive. And uh, they went, come down and uh, we went to a movie and Vern sit on one side and held my hand and De Blaine sit on the other side and held my hand and then after the show was out we would all go and he uh, Blaine would stop at a, a, a store and Vernon walk me home and come back down and uh, that's how Blaine and I met and then later on when they were in the service, they, that was a good time too. Well, he, he, um, he was a very likable, uh, played the guitar. He was always uh, the life of the party. And um, I was bashful. And uh, so one night we were in the car and he showed me a diamond and he said, will you accept it? And I said, yes. And uh, so that was around graduation time at, at school. So I graduated from school and uh, then we got married in Manti uh, Temple for time and all eternity. Well, from first grade on up through the high school, there was one friend that I really liked and he was in my ward. We did everything together. He'd walk me home from from uh, school, and we uh, would go to dances. And uh, when we uh, when I. Uh, was going to take a, a, a ring from Blaine. Dwayne saw it and he felt real bad. And so we, Blaine and I, got married and went, they went down and Vern and uh, Blaine went to San Diego, him in the Marines and and Vern in the uh, um, anyway they uh, we're going to come home together, 
is they were down there together in San Diego and Blaine said I'll let Vern come home first and Elda you tell Vern that you've already got a boyfriend and you break it off with with Vern so I did and and then uh, years later <clears throat> Vern come to my house with his wife and we were living in Salt Lake and he came over and he looked right at Blaine and he shook his hand at him and he said you stole my girlfriend and uh, then it wasn't long after that that Blaine passed away and I went down to St. George and Duane came down and came to my house and he had lost his wife and I'd lost my husband and so we decided after three months of him coming down and seeing me that we would get married and Duane had two boys one up in the male clinic and he called him up and he said uh, can you come to my wedding uh, son and and uh, he said you mean you're marrying someone that you only know have known for three months and he says I've known her all my life because we were in the same ward at church and so we got married in the Manti Temple for time and so that's how I met or uh, married Duane but it wasn't long about five years I got a divorce from him because the boys forced him into uh, getting a divorce. I have four. Well, I have Rebecca and I have Sterling and Barbara and Gordon. Oh, we used to go up to Bear Lake and have fun and ride our four-wheelers and go swimming and we'd go on cruises and uh, we uh, enjoyed being with each other. I lived in Nephi, I lived in Santa Quinn, I lived in Provo, I lived in Salt Lake, and then I came down to St. George. I didn't go to work until Gordon was old enough to go to kindergarten, and Barbara would take him and and bring him home and so she was pretty much over chart uh, with taking care of him and I went to work for Clara's wig shop and um, we would condition the wigs and that means that we'd wash them we'd comb them and, and then 
uh, curl them. And sometimes it would be a little girl or a little boy that had come in and had cancer and we had to fit a wig on that person and uh, then uh, grandpa got sick to the point where he wouldn't stay home so I had to quit my job in Clara's wig shop. Oh, you bet. You bet that uh, I belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and I am so proud and I have had many, many jobs or uh, callings that I've been over the Junior Sunday School, I've been President of the Relief Society, I've been State Relief Society President, and I just loved every one of them. I couldn't have had it any better. I, I wouldn't have been the person that I hope I am if it hadn't been for the church. Well, the thing is, you just get through them by uh, smiling and, and saying this too will pass and, and writing it down in my journal and it would get me through. Oh, oh yes, Santa Claus is coming and uh, all of my grandkids and my my kids would sit on his lap and, and they would tell him what they wanted and he said he'd bring it to them for Christmas. And then we'd go up the canyon and we'd ski down the hill. All of us, different ages, had a good time. Oh, Thanksgiving, we went down to my mother's house that she'd had 10 children and she'd get us all together and we'd have a big Thanksgiving dinner. Red, Rose, the Book of Mormon, cookies. I always had a, a, a doggy outside but I never had it inside, in-house. Uh, a, a kitty, a little kitten, and then, uh, oh, well, when I was on my farm, I had chickens, uh, lambs, uh, sheep, horses, cows, I herded the sheep and one day I heard a sizzle 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 noise and looked down there and it was a rattlesnake all coiled up to strike at me and I run home all the way home left the sheep and told my mom and we went back up and we killed the well, um, I enjoyed going over to Hawaii and um, then we went on a cruise with uh, uh, Barbara's family and I think that was the West Caribbean and then I went on with Becky's and we went on the East Caribbean and then uh, the first one we went on was the Alaskan and Gordon wanted to go to Alaska and I said why and he said because daddy that would be my husband Blaine 
always wanted to go there, but he couldn't. I mean, he was too ill. When we would get together, and I'd do genealogy, and every time my uh, niece would come with her husband, and he was in a wheelchair and crippled and couldn't talk, she would have to feed him. He had been on a mission and he got injured. And to know that she also had married him knowing that they couldn't have children, that she would have to take care of him all her life. And she gave up all of that to have him and they uh, would come to every every um, reunion and uh, she would uh, always take charge and make sure that we all was invited. Well now I I play hand and foot, that's a game, and um, I go to church, and I lay on the couch and watch TV. Well, I hope that they remember me as Grandma Cheese, that I always brought them cheese from Beaver, and that I loved them all and I got a little baby girl that's Ella just about my name it's Ella instead of Elda and I love her and all of my grandchildren. To think of, of my childhood, we didn't have a car, and so uh, we would take, I would take the eggs that we'd got and uh, take them down to the store and, and buy sugar. This was in the war time. And uh, then uh, I would hold the horses while my dad would chew them, uh, put the horseshoe on their foot. And uh, then when we would on a Saturday, I was in charge of of wa uh, cleaning up the the shoes that that they only had one pair of shoes and they they were all dirty and they would uh, I would have to clean them up to get ready for Sunday and. The same with the uh, shirts. The, my eight brothers and my dad all wore white shirts to church on Sunday, and so I would iron them on Saturday. And uh, then we would, uh, the kids would wear the shoes all day, all week long the only pair that they had. Oh, and our fun time was my dad had a, 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 a sleigh, a big sleigh, uh, uh, and we would go around and pick up everybody that wanted to go with us, and we'd sing songs all through the 
streets of Nephi of Christmas and they loved that and my dad loved doing it and that was a fun fun time um, going back in my childhood I'm thinking about when when I was going to graduate and I didn't have enough money to, to buy me a dress and so my brother was in um, Australia on in the service and he sent me home a parachute so I made the skirt out of that and the red velvet oh I'm sorry a velvet um, top and uh, buttons all the way down the front then two months later after graduation I was going to get married and so I used the same parachute skirt and made a white top with uh, buttons all down the front and uh, I still have it I still uh, have it in in my suitcase or I mean in my closet and uh, I hope that somebody will want want to have it sometime a parachute in World War II was a special, special thing. Oh, and then, but I didn't have, with it being war, I didn't have any sugar. We were rationed, and we didn't have any sugar to make a cake. And my mom was uh, six months pregnant with her last son, and so we went to the temple and came home and <clears throat> she should, stood in line for all of that and, and uh, we couldn't have a cake. So uh, we just had what we could, we could make without the sweet sugar. And then um, later on, uh, about 20 years later, Barbara made um, a cake because she was working in, in the, the cakes uh, in, in Albertsons and she brought me the cake and, and Dad and I, he cut the cake and gave it to me and uh, everything that I had missed out on between Barbara and and my husband they made sure that I got later uh, I had a wonderful experience in the Salt Lake Temple when I was serving there I was at one point my mother come to me she had passed and told me that I must do genealogy uh, that Melva my oldest sister was going to take care of my father and my calling was to do genealogy so I did a, a big chart of going through from 1500 in genealogy up to a, a few years ago and I still got to add my little Allah on there because they 
I quit doing that before she was born. I had, uh, Blaine was uh, living with Eliza Peterson in Santa Quinn, and she hadn't had any children, so she adopted him and raised him, and he went to school there in Payson. And when he got older, she passed away, and we went down, we were married, and he went down and, and was cleaning out her house and putting uh, purses in the fire that we had outside, th throwing stuff away. and. Then he jerked and pulled one more out and it had money stashed in the purses. So we don't know how much money that we had burned up, but when he got through, uh, we gave each one of our kids $20 that we had found and uh, she would put money in jars and put them down in the basement and uh, so this uh, made it so that we didn't ever know whether we was burning money or not and another time when we were married and had a one of these basements that you lift up the uh, top and, and go downstairs, it's outside and I did, we didn't have any uh, water in the house or any bathrooms in the house and we would, it would be snowing and so we couldn't go down in the basement for several weeks and then we'd clean it, the snow off and go down and I brought up some jars of, of fruit and, and um, grape juice and I was pouring it out and, and Blaine said don't pour that out that's good um, what do you call it wine wine and come to find out uh, we were from the um, uh, country where they made wine, wine, and they have one that's named Martell. Well, our first house that Blaine and I bought was in Santa Quinn. And that was before Becky was born. And we, uh, we, we went to Pro Payson to Dr. Steele and delivered uh, Becky. It took 11 hours to deliver her and when I came out of the room, Blaine came up to me and he says, guess what? We got us a baby girl. And I said, well, don't you think I don't know it? I was there for 11 hours. And so we uh, uh, took her home after she was able to, to go home with me. And we slept on a an, an old cot that Eliza had given us uh, that was hers outside and we slept on that and we put the baby uh, in a drawer or was it a buggy anyway one night oh and then we'd would uh, put a, 
a lot of um, um, fuel in the the house uh, stove because we it was in the winter and we were cold and one night she woke up that Becky did and was crying and it was the smoke that we were being asphyxiated and so Blaine woke up after he hurt the baby and he shook me and I couldn't move because I was too far under so he grabbed the baby grabbed me and took me outside and uh, we called the doctor and we almost didn't make it cookie is. Look how big the cookie is. <laughs> and you love cookies, huh? And I love cookies. <laughs> I think that's where I get my love for cookies too. Is it yummy? It is yummy. Do you want to taste? What kind is it, Grandma? It's a... What? Tell us. What is it? It's your favorite kind. Or does it not taste like it? Ma, uh, um. Oatmeal? Oatmeal raisin? Oatmeal and raisin. <laughs> yeah, we gotta take a little break, huh? So you can eat a cookie. <laughs> okay, we love you. Okay. Do you love, love you? Okay, good. I'm Come on, Grandma, shake it.